morning everyone and welcome to the channel I'm Gene good morning it is Saturday November 7th 2020 and we have some news out of dish network or dish period this was written by Monica Alvin from fierce wireless yesterday November 6th 2020 at 508 p.m. Dish won't have major 5G market up and running until quarter three of next year. Ooh. Dish network is no longer expecting to have 5G running in a market by the end of this year. Instead, it expects to have its first major 5G market by the third quarter of 2021 as it waits to receive more radios from Fujitsu. Dish will have some preliminary small markets in the first quarter of 2021, but it will be the third quarter for the major market up and running. Chairman and co-founder Charlie Ergen said during the company's third quarter conference call on Friday. The company reiterated that it expects to meet the commitments it made to the FCC to include 20% of the U.S. population by June 14th of 2022 and at least 70% of the population by mid-2023. We're on track in terms of deployment. <coughs> That's Stephen By, Executive Vice President and Chief Commercial Officer at DISH. It's also evaluating sites from T-Mobile that I can reuse and some of those are included in the network design. <coughs> we are on track to the 15,000 that we committed to as a minimum build-out requirement for June 2023. <coughs> One tower already is up and running in Littleton, Colorado, where DISH activated its first 5G cell site, which was noted in a LinkedIn post by Dave Mayo, EVP of Network Deployment at DISH. SDX Central earlier this week reported on DISH's dashed hopes for a 5G network build in a single market this year. Ergen says the team is running fast internally and getting a whole lot of work done, but it's not always visible to investors and everybody on Wall Street. There are a lot of details that's not particularly easy to convey during COVID, all of the work that's going on. You've really got to see it. It's not a PowerPoint presentation, he says. Now, it says, Ditch continues to build the wireless team and is hiring people in markets across the country to help deploy the network. The satellite TV company Wireless Retail is dependent on the Open Radio Access Network, RAN, radio from Fujitsu. They won't arrive at a large amount until the second half of next year. In the meantime, they're putting things in place to get ready. In the big picture, DISH looks to build something at a lower cost but a higher quality. Oh boy. Because it's cloud native and open RAN. Its network will be able to do things that other networks can't do, according to Ergen. Dish will get its fair share of the consumer business, but also eyeing, eyeing the enterprise space, where it can offer what he describes as private networks. Ergen was asked to explain how Dish expects to meet the build-out op obligations when it will have only one major market up in the third quarter of next year. He says the vast majority of the work is planning and acquiring the permits. The actual climbing of the tower and placement of, of gear is about to be a quick process. In Dish's favor, they're building a very modern network using open RAN, so it's not reliant on a single vendor. It's working with many that are based in the U.S., plus the network is virtualized from the start, which is different from the incumbent operators, and it's largely software rather than hardware. Bai said... They're already well into the planning process and that Actives started months ago. We were in a very, very good position, he said, noting the experience that he and Mayo acquired from the previous technology deployment with other companies. Now, the Fujitsu radios will arrive at scale later next year, but they will take delivery of units before then, and they're very sophisticated radios, he said. The radios are configured such that they will allow DISH to support spectrum bands like CBRS, as well as the Spectrum licenses that DISH holds. The company is working with other radio vendors that has not yet announced. DISH says, still says this network will cost $10 billion. Our question that is being too low, and, it's with, and with its MVNO deal with T-Mobile, it doesn't have to wait to build out its own network to monetize it. 
Dish has up to seven years operate as an MVNO, and that ten billion is stretched out over seven years, other than the three years initially had thought it had. Now, Egan reiterated that they're building a Netflix in a blockbuster world. And da, 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 da. When the Department of Defense put up its RFI out, Dish responded at an offer, took an offer from the DOD to use its network. Dish doesn't believe the Department of Defense should build its own network because it doesn't need to. Dish is building the network and titles like the DOD can use. Think of Fortune 500 companies who might have the same need, Ergen said. Now use your imagination. Now here comes the good part. Or the the frustrating part here of Boost. Subscriber losses at Boost. Yes, and you know why, too. While Dish builds out a national 5G network to operate as a force facilities-based service provider, it's got its Boost mobile business to operate. Ending the quarter... Ooh. Ending the quarter with a total of 9.42 million wireless subscribers. Dish said the losses were largely due to efforts to integrate its operation and make changes to, the, to enhance profitability. Dish completed the acquisition of Boost on July 1st, 2020, when it acquired more than 9 million customers. On August 1st, it into a purchase agreement with two cows to buy the assets of Ting Mobile, including more than 200,000 Ting subscribers. Dish reported re- retail wireless service revenue of about 1.1 billion for the quarter. Wireless ARPU was 38.7 and churn was 44.64%. The company had 1,000 1.104 million wireless additions to the quarter. New Street Research analyst Jonathan Chaplin Chaplin noted that while Dish lost 212,000 subscribers in the quarter, it produced 79 million in wireless. Ah, this truly has potential to disrupt the U.S. wireless market. Most of the value we see in Dish uh, still lies five to ten years away. Um, Moffitt Nathison continues to rate Dish at sell, with a target price of $15 per share. Shares currently trade around $27 per share. All right. Well, we hope that you enjoyed that little bit of Dish Network, a uh, little little uh, thing there. But um, join us again. Sorry for the darkness. Join us again next time. Um, hit the subscribe button, the like or the dislike um, icons, and at the bottom of the screen, please say your comments. We need comments here, people. You're not. No one's commenting. Please do so. Like, dislike, subscribe, or comment. All right. Thank you very much. Have a great weekend. See you on the next one. Bye.